time to lend a helping hand. Help me out. Help your brother out, man. It's asking for a friend on the Morning Hustle. Morning Hustle had Crack and Lorio. We are asking for a friend, and they sliding in them DMs. That's right. And they said, hey, Morning Hustle, I've been talking to this guy for a little over three months, and... Let me just get straight to the point. The sex has not been successful. I thought the first time maybe it was nerves, but after about the third time, it's giving, it's not never going to get better. Now, my girl says, since I used the 90-day rule and made him wait, I owe him at least 30 days to see if he could get it right. Is she right? And what if he never gets it together? See, Girl. that's why they got samples at Costco, so you can try it out to see what it is beforehand. But I understand maybe you had to install this 90-day rule because maybe some things went sour. Maybe you gave out too many samples and you feel like there's nothing left in the, in, in, in the tray, right? Mm-hmm. So because you made him wait, you owe him those 30 days to figure it out. You owe him 30 days. Okay, oh, is a strong word. He deserves these 30 days. She's being very childish with all these days. Days and 30 days and 90 days. And this is why you probably turning the mood off. At the end of the day, I couldn't be in a situation where it's all these stipulations. How can you let your guard down and want to be comfortable sexual if it's like, oh, well, seven days, seven pumps, seven hours. It's like, girl, shut up. Like, if it's not going to work out, if it ain't work out on the third try, I'm going to just say that it's just it's not working. Y'all not compatible sexually. Uh, you can't really necessarily schedule emotions. You know what I mean? If that animalistic urge kicked in for you to want to give him some earlier, you should have did that. Now you are where you are. So now he worked with you. You got to work with him a little bit. Just she a little bit. Working with him. And then what? You tell him like, all right, the sex is kind of trash. I'm going to give you 30 days to turn oh, this around. Fam, if it was the other way around and it was a dude writing this letter, which we probably wouldn't. Sometimes dudes got to tell chicks what to do as well. I mean, well, did she even try that? She just said it's the nerves, it's this, it's that. It's like, girl, at no point were you going to be like, hey, a little to the left, a little to the right, you're not hitting the spot. Maybe she likes him too much and her nerves was not allowing her to let go. Maybe it's small and it's not hitting the bottom of the fountain. Maybe hers is cavernous (laughs) and it's like throwing a matchbox car in a pillowcase. Well, she's the one that don't want him. He seems to be stuck around, but he just can't stick it to her, if you know what I mean. Listen... Sexual compatibility is a big thing. I don't think you should force yourself to want to have sex with somebody you don't want to have sex with. You know, like, you know, when you start any job, you get a little bit of training. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a new gig. Uh, Some people get it right off the bat. Some people not so much. Hustlers would say, y'all, 866-HUSTLE-8, 866-487-8538. Good morning. Oh, my God. This has got to be the dumbest thing to irritate somebody early in the new year on a Friday morning. 90 (laughs) days. Who in the world came up with that? Steve Harvey, Rev Run, Tyrese, and the books that they put out. Listen, if the sex is garbage, it's garbage. It is what it is. Period. It ain't no you going to come back from it. If the meat ain't meeting your standards, then you cut him off and keep it pushing. You waited and thought it was going to be good, thought he was going to lay more pipe than the Mario Brothers. And he ain't huh? do nothing. He ain't knock it out the box. He ain't Cricket. knock your back out. He ain't do. He ain't shuffle your IUD around. And then your girlfriend trying to tell you that you got away. You owe this man thirty days. You don't owe him nothing. You don't owe him a nothing. phone call or nothing. So if he's a good dude, you keep him for the goodness. But you find somebody else that can smash some cake. Ladies and I gentlemen, mean... that is Danielle from Riverdale who walked so some of y'all can run. <sighs> I'm just saying chemistry cannot be learned. It's like not on day one, not on the 30th day. If it's not working, then it's not going to work. You waited 90 days for it to work. That didn't work. Now you're going to wait 30 days for the sex to be good. I can't stand her in these time lines. Yeah. You know, and, and, and there's one thing to talk about chemistry, right? You know, it may be like, you know, all right, cool, the, the sexual attraction isn't there. But it's another thing if, you know, if you're talking about, like, you know, as far as, like, finishing moves, things that get the jobs done. You know, like, you know, your, your pressure points that, you know, make things certain things pop off. Some of those things are you have to learn that from person to person because not everybody has the same stimulation points. So, you know, I guess maybe we need a little bit more clarity in what actually was it being activated? Was his moves right? You know, not trying the right angles and positions or if just like, yo, like you just aren't physically doing it for me overall. Three times of having sex and it's not like you don't like it. That, that's not good. Like I can understand 
all right, one time, maybe it just wasn't it wasn't working out. Well, that's happened to me before where I've, like, dealt with the guy and was like, this is trash. And then the second time I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't that bad. But, no, I couldn't force myself to be with somebody for 30 days that I'm not that I'm not attracted to sexually. Yeah, I mean, it's sometimes it's the sad byproduct of just, you know, waiting too long or, like, I mean, God forbid it was one of those situations where they waited till they got married to try it out and then you're really jammed up, man. But, yo, man, like, you know, what should she do? Because I imagine some of the hustlers out there have been in a similar situation. 866-HUSTLE-8, 866-487-8538. Should she just call it a day? Or, you know, be a little bit more assertive explaining what she wants from this person? Or it's time to pack it up and go. We don't know. We ask you for a friend. Holler at us. We, we are the morning. Hustle!